a video that no one has done before. Each and every one of them. It's not a paid review. And this is not a review from a regular beauty YouTuber. A thorough explanation of all the Giorgio Armani foundations. This is coming from an actual brand beauty advisor. Hi, my name is Julia and I'm a face designer at Giorgio Armani Beauty. Hi everyone, this is Julia. As I have mentioned in my previous video, I am currently working at Giorgio Armani Beauty. And today I would like to share with you every piece of knowledge I've gained over the experience and tips on using Giorgio Armani foundations. I have been planning on this video for two months now. I actually wanted to do this uh, since I started my YouTube channel, but I really wanted to be 100% uh, prepared uh, when I talk about this. So I have been doing some uh, study, uh, taking notes, uh, doing some experiments even, to be able to confidently share this topic with you. Since I'm talking about the whole range of Giorgio Armani foundations, which are about nine of them at the moment, so it's going to be a very long video. So I have divided this into two parts. Part one is for normal to oily skin and part two is for normal to dry skin. That way it'll be much easier for you to search for the suitable ones for yourselves. Also, as an image consultant, I believe that your face uh, plays a big role in delivering your personal image. And your skin complexion is a big contributing factor. Alright, then let me share with you how to choose the right one if you're planning on getting an Armani foundation. Giorgio Armani is a fashion designer, as you all know. Uh, he also launched his beauty line around 18 years ago um, and every aspect of his philosophy of making clothes is embedded in his beauty line too. Armani's clothes are all about body consciousness and understated designs and there are four core elements in his philosophy. So his clothes must be comfortable, elegant, simple and perfect. These are not just found in his clothes, but also in his beauty line. It is true, uh, each and every foundation that Armani made is elegant, seamless, simple, as in uh, natural looking, I should say, in the case of foundation, and most importantly, feels comfortable. And every foundation is inspired by different fabrics, so they all have different textures and feel. There are nine types of foundations until today, so you can surely find the one that tailors your skin type. So, I would like to introduce you to the wardrobe of foundations by Armani. I will talk in order of uh, sheer coverage to full coverage, so uh, let me start with the face fabric. I'm sure almost everyone has heard of the face fabric before. It was discontinued for about a year and a half, I believe, and it was brought back by popular demand. A post from Khloe Kardashian's website saying, uh, Kendall and I were obsessed with Giorgio Armani face fabric and it is the most missed product in the makeup history. This made everyone wonder what this product was all about and why they were raving so much. The demand was so huge that it had to be relaunched at the beginning of this year. And with the relaunch, uh, Armani has changed its packaging to a denim design, as you can see, and linked its formula to the perfect pair of jeans, meaning timeless and versatile with a second skin effect. <laughs> It is definitely a matte foundation. It is a mousse to powder type formula. It gives you a very soft to the touch and velvety texture and it's easily blendable and blurs the pores and imperfections. With this particular one, I only recommend this one to normal to oily skin. Uh, for people who have dehydrated and dry combination skin, Sorry, but it's a no-no because it is a definitely a silicon based foundation So this can cling onto the dry patches on your face uh, It can feel quite dry for people who have dry skin This was first created uh, 10 years ago and the old packaging looks like this 
and I remember those days back in high school uh, when I first started to uh, gain interest in makeup this was my goal to get hands on so I bought this as a gift for myself for turning 18 so during my holiday when I went back to Korea because it was not available in New Zealand of course I purchased my very first Armani foundation back then it was my favorite I was young, I had a beautiful skin, I did not require heavy coverage and I really loved its matte finish because my skin was very oily back then. It's really one of those moments I cannot forget in my life. That's how much I wanted it and I loved it. <laughs> I definitely suggest you to use your fingertips to uh, blend. It works the best with a little bit of temperature going on on the surface of your fingertips to uh, spread the product evenly across the face. By the way, this works amazingly as a primer too. I really love pairing this with the Luminous Silk Foundation. Uh, for me, the combination works so well. They really work great together. Because it is a silicone based pore blurring foundation, uh, it works just the same way as one of those pore smoothening primers. So the next one up is the Maestro foundation and this was inspired by the thinnest fabric in the world called Super Organza which was introduced in uh, 2012 at the Spring and Summer Privé Haute Couture collection. It is such an innovative and revolutionary formula, which is a combination of dry oil plus pigments. This is really important. The dry oil that is contained in this foundation is the key in leaving a non-greasy and fresh feeling, um, which gives a matte finish on the skin surface. As it was inspired by the thinnest fabric in the world, it is the lightest foundation in the market. Also, one of the dry oils used in this foundation is lotus oil and it has anti-free radical properties. Okay, in the official website, or uh, we all face designers are taught that uh, this foundation is for all skin types, but uh, before I go uh, further into detail, I will have to explain a little bit about this foundation and uh, how it works. People with dry skin tend to come back and complain that this foundation would make their skin look even worse. The reason being, uh, this foundation is so thin that uh, once it's applied on your face, it leaves you with the thinnest layer of pure pigment uh, once after the dry oil has evaporated from your skin surface. And pigments are normally in a powder form, so uh, once the dry oil evaporates, uh, your skin is left with a thin film of powder. As you all know, uh, powder is not suitable for dry skin and that's why people with dry skin um, having issues with you know, flakiness or dry patches uh, would say that this foundation would uh, make those areas more prominent for them. This dry oil that is contained in this foundation is very different from um, the oils that we come across in our daily lives. It does not have an oily feeling or nourishing properties, so please don't be afraid of the word oil. I mean, any foundation or any makeup should be applied after a good skincare, but this particular one requires an extra care on uh, exfoliation to take off your dead skin cells before you layering it on. It won't be able to help you cover up the dry patches or flakiness on your skin surface, but it is a true skin perfecter in terms of uh, evening out your skin tone and smoothening out your skin surface. Just to let you know, I'm in between normal to oily skin, um, more towards normal skin at the moment. So I have no issues with this one. I absolutely love this and I cannot rave enough about this one and it's one of my favorites. With this one, um, even in the instructions, um, it's specifically directed you to use your hands to blend this foundation. But unlike the face fabric, uh, not just the fingertips this time, but use your palms to press in to finish off. You can gently hug your face with your palms to warm up and help it absorb in nicely. 
So basically it really applies the same theory as the face oils and make sure you shake the bottle each time, uh, not just each time you use, but each time you squirt the product out of the bottle because the oil and the pigment gets separated so easily. Okay, the next one is the Lasting Silk UV Foundation and it is inspired by a fine milling process. So with this one, the particle size is broken down into a micro size, leaving an ultra thin layer to give you a better adherence on the skin surface. This is the only water-based foundation from Armani. It gives you medium coverage, uh, it's long lasting uh, with a semi-matte finish. Actually, I should describe this one as a luminous matte foundation rather than semi-matte because once you apply this foundation on your face and when it dries, it doesn't feel so powdery on the touch and the skin surface still looks luminous and not flat looking. Okay, with this one in terms of the feeling or the texture, um, it works just like as a toner because when you put toner on your face, the toner gives you hydration, a nice and fresh and cooling feeling on top of your skin surface. But after a few minutes of application, part of it is absorbed into your skin and uh, some of it is evaporated from the skin surface. So again, very similar to the Maestro foundation, uh, it helps to leave a very thin layer of pigment on top of your skin surface but because this is a water-based foundation uh, it gives you a better adherence and it won't emphasize on the um, areas of flakiness or dead skin cells um, and also it won't clog the pores. People with dry skin you can still try this one on after um, very well layered skincare or very hydrating primer but in general uh, people who have normal to oily skin will suit this foundation and it would look amazing on their face I can honestly say that this is a holy grail for me if I know that I have to wear my makeup for more than six hours then I would definitely wear this one on this is my go-to foundation for that reason it is really long lasting on my skin and it just makes my skin look really gorgeous. It's not just this particular foundation, but if you're applying a water-based foundation, you have to be fairly uh, fast-handed. It's best to apply the product uh, one section at a time. For most of you, you won't have any problem with the uh, application process, but if you're a uh, makeup beginner, uh, you might feel that it will start to set if you're pretty slow handed. If you require more coverage, it is best to layer multiple thin layers on top of another. Lastly, we're on to the full coverage foundation and it is called the Power Fabric. And this one is inspired by a tailored Armani jacket. A good quality tailored jacket can hide your body lines, uh, gives you a better proportion to the body, uh, feels comfortable and uh, makes you look elegant with its timeless design. Wearing this jacket over any kind of clothing would make you feel confident and powerful. I think I've done a pretty good job of describing this foundation. I think that's the best description I can ever think of. I know it sounds very descriptive and metaphoric, uh, but it can't be explained in any other way. I mean, any better way to um, explain about this foundation because it's not just another matte foundation with full coverage. <laughs> The formula of this foundation was inspired by Maestro Foundation, which uh, gives you a non-greasy feeling and luminous glow, and the Eye Tint, which gives you a full coverage uh, and 16 hours lasting power with no creasing and fading. This one is categorized as a fluid foundation, but the consistency of this one is much more dense compared to any other fluid foundations in the market. It almost looks like a ball of mousse or shaving foam um, when you pump it out, but when you start to blend it, it turns into a fluid texture, then leaves you a uh, matte powdery finish. Some people complain that this foundation is not a full coverage foundation. Okay, to me personally, the coverage is actually quite high, quite heavy. It is definitely a full coverage foundation for me. If you compare this one to any other full coverage foundations in the market, 
yes, it is less covering because the philosophy of Armani Cosmetics is all about being naturally beautiful. If you wanted to cover up your face to the point where uh, transparency is completely covered, or if you're going for the very typical Instagram makeup look, then this is not the foundation you're looking for. <laughs> Uh, my own thoughts okay for its coverage um, it gives you very high coverage but how I feel on my face it, it really feels like there's nothing on my face it's that light I personally prefer foundations that are more fluid in texture and I don't require high coverage foundation so I prefer to use a light coverage foundation matched with a good coverage concealer I'm not too sure how this might sound to you, but it is an ultra matte foundation, but it still gives you a luminous glow. But people who are looking for a full coverage foundation with a natural finish, and this can do the job really. <laughs> You'll have to try this one on your skin to find out what I really mean by this. Again, this one is for normal to oily skin. Um, people who have dry combination skin, you'll have to prep your skin very well before you apply this one on. And try using an oil-based primer before you putting this one on. If you have dry patches, I think that works the best uh, as a combination together. With this one, uh, your fingertips and the brushes actually work fantastically with this one, seriously. I've tried using this one with a damp uh, makeup sponge, but I felt like um, the sponge was taking off the product. I think with this one, you will rather need something to help spread the product evenly across your face. I hope you have enjoyed this video and found it really informative in terms of searching the IT foundation for your skin type. And I'll come back with another set of foundations that are suited to normal to dry skin. Please subscribe if you guys haven't already and like this video if you enjoyed watching it and see you all next time.